It's hard to believe that this time last year, this street was completely empty. But what the reopening means a return to normal for vendors at farmers markets like this across Washington. But a new regulation has some concern about how they'll be able to cope with this new normal. Washingtonians are slowly getting back to what life used to be before COVID-19. That means coming back to their favorite shops, restaurants, and farmers markets. For Valerie Forrester, that means saying goodbye to regulations put in place over the pandemic. People with their own bags, it could not pass back behind where our vegetables were. What I did was I would lay their produce on a table we had out front as a barrier to keep them six feet from the produce, and they would let, allow them to bag it themselves. But a new regulation will change the way things are done for small businesses. Again, Starting this October, single-use plastic bags will be banned in Washington. The Department of Ecology says the bans are a common form of pollution and they're hard to recycle. By getting rid of them, authorities hope to ease the burden on the state's recycling system. But after months of little to no activity, Valerie is worried about small businesses trying to get back on their feet under this new ban. All of the prices for everything has gone up. We don't have elbow room to pay four times as much for bags. Others have tried to adjust, but the cost can't be ignored. Cloth bags is something that's very noble that we're trying to do, but it is about two to three times the cost of a plastic bag. You can get a plastic bag for less than a penny. However, the average cloth bag starts at about a dollar per bag. Now businesses hoping to look forward to recovering from last year are frustrated at the latest disruption in a long line of them. Sometimes we do knee jerk without really investigating why we're doing it. You buy a box off of one of the, uh, you know, retail sites online. When it gets delivered to you, you may have something really small, but it may be wrapped in layers of plastic or a box inside of a box. I know they're saying that sometimes smaller businesses may consume plastic a bit more or on a daily basis they may consume more. But I think when you look at compared to the big guys that are in technology or in manufacturing or things of that nature, I think that they should start from the top. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.